so in this sum of all the marks contains what 30 marks extra so it means you can say actual marks are what actual marks actual marks are hello everyone in this video we will discuss two questions from your previous papers of upsc csat okay and these questions are based on what these questions are based on the average chapter and this is the question from upsc csat 2017 and question says suppose the average weight of 9 person is 50 kg the average weight of first 5 person is 45 kg whereas the average weight of next 5 persons are last 5 persons are 55 kg you have to find the weight of fifth person yes so sir how can you do this so first of all let's say you have nine persons as x1 x2 x3 till x9 okay x1 first person second person third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth and nine person yes you know sir their average weight is 50 kg so you know first thing when you add them yes when you add them you can say you are saying x1 plus x2 plus till x9 average is what sum of all the observation divided by total number of observation that is 9 here and this thing is 50 yes so from here you can say sum of 9 persons x1 plus x2 plus till x9 that will be what that will be 9 into 50 that is 9 into 50 is 450 Yes, this is the sum of weight of nine persons. Yes, that is four fifty. Now, next thing, you are given with the average of first five persons. So, from here to here, first five persons are here. Yes, first five persons. Okay, so you can say for the first five, average is forty five. So, sir, we can say x one plus x two. Plus x3 and till x5 divided by 5. That average weight is what? That is 45. Yes. So from here we can say, sir, x1 plus x2 plus till x5. That is equal to what? 45 into 5, which is 225. Yes. Now, sir, next one is what? For the last five person, that is x5 plus x6 plus Till x9 and divided by 5, their average weight is 55 kg. Yes, that is given to us. Their average weight is what? Their average weight is 55 kg. Yes. So if their average weight is 55, so you can say x5 plus x6 plus till x9, that is equal to 275. This sum is 275. Yes, 5 into 55. Got it. Now we have to find the weight of fifth person. Yes. Now, sir, just add them. When you add them, we will see, sir, we have x one plus x two plus till x nine. Okay, and one extra x five. Yes or no? Because we have x five two times. One time here, one time here. So x one, x two, x five. Then x five here. X six, x seven, x nine till x nine here. Yes. And this is what this is, two twenty five plus two seventy five. Okay, that we already know. Sum of weight of nine persons that is four fifty. I think yes, that is four fifty. So you can say four fifty plus weight of fifth person that is equal to when you add them. So you can say two twenty five plus two seventy five that is five hundred. Okay. so it means weight of x5 means weight of fifth person will be 500 minus 450 that will be 50 yes so weight of the fifth person will be what that is 50 kg so you can say c is the answer yes 50 kg clear very simple question okay in the similar manner you have one more question based on the average that is The average marks of hundred students are given to be forty. Okay, average marks of hundred students are forty. Okay, sir. Let's say their marks are what? Their marks are x one, x two, and so on. 
so you can say sum of marks of 100 students divided by total number of students or total number of observations divided by uh, means sum of all the observation divided by 100 that average is 40 yes these are marks of 100 student x1 x2 and till x100 divided by 100 that is 40 marks average is 40 marks so from here from the first line we have what we have this information 14 to 100 is that 4000 yes sum of their scores sum of their scores that will be what 4000 yes 4000 Okay, the average mark of 100 students are given to be this. Now, second line says it was found later that marks of one student were 53, which were misread as 83. Okay, actual marks are 53, but in this observation, we have taken that thing as 83. Okay, so it means we, uh, here we have what, 30 more. Yes, so in this, we have 30 marks extra. Yes or no? So you can say actual marks are what? Actual marks. Now you can say sir actual marks are actual marks that is 4000 minus 30. Yes or no? Yes or no? Why? Because sir, uh, uh, one student having the marks is 53 but because of some misreading they are uh, they misread as 83. It means they need 30 more marks in that. Okay. So, in this sum of all the marks contains what? 30 marks extra. So, it means you can say actual marks are what? Actual marks. Actual marks are total minus that 30 extra marks. Yes. So, that is when you simplify 3970. Yes or no? So, these are the actual marks. Now, sir, question says, Find the corrected mean. Okay, so corrected mean is what? Corrected mean. Corrected mean. That is, you can say actual marks divided by total number of students. They are 100. So you can say that is 39.7. So that is my corrected mean 39.7. Okay, so 39.7 B is the correct answer. Clear? So these are questions from your PYQ on average chapter. Okay. So in the next video, we will discuss what we will discuss some more PYQs till then. Thank you everyone. Bye-bye.